Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace your pressure switch and repressurize your tank for your well pump. Alright guys, the first thing we have to do is shut off the power, so we're going to do that right now. Alright, now we're going to shut our pump off. All right, now that we shut the power off, we're gonna make sure the power is off. Just don't assume that just because you flipped the switch, unless you're 100% sure that that is the switch, uh, get yourself a, a voltmeter like this, put it on bolts, and check. Put the black one down at the ground, and then check your uh, voltmeter. get nothing all right now we have to disconnect these wires and if you don't know what you're doing uh, get an, get an electrician because you're messing with uh, 110 or 120 in each line here that's 220 or 240 volts and you don't want to be messing with that okay so uh, I would get an electrician if you don't know what you're doing uh, but it is fairly simple uh, but it could be confusing for some people if, you, if you've never done it before you got, on this particular pump, I don't have a control box or anything, you got two wires, uh, two hot wires coming in, which are right here, and a ground. The ground is actually right here. And then on the outside here, we have two wires going back to the motor. And then the switch will kick the motor on and off. Uh, so essentially we got two hot wires coming in and two hot wires going out. right now I'm disconnecting the uh, wires from the motor it doesn't matter which side these go on okay, that's for the motor and this is the line coming in we're gonna disconnect that oh, that wasn't very tight Okay, now the next thing we need to do once you disconnect your wiring is release the pressure from the system. I don't know if you can see that, but I got about 50, about 50 pounds of pressure in there. Now, I got a hose hooked up here so I can clean stuff. What I'm going to do is open it and I'm going to relieve the pressure from the system. It's probably going to be quite a bit here because I got a 119 gallon tank. About half of that I got to release. All right, now that we released the pressure from the uh, plumbing system, it's down to zero. We can take the switch off. Now I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, rather than having a short stubby here, I'm going to build this up, over and up. And right here, I made a little model of it here. This is what I'm making right here. It's going to come up. I'm going to have a valve here so I can shut this off so I don't have to empty the whole system out next time I do this. Uh, and then the pressure uh, the pressure switch is going right up here. Another thing is when you're changing these, uh, when you're changing these, 
always use brass, okay? Never use galvanized steel, okay? It's garbage. When it, water and, and steel, it just doesn't mix, okay? It just rusts and corrodes. Always use brass uh, when you're doing any kind of plumbing like this, okay? And always use a Teflon tape made for plumbing. So the first piece we're going to put on there is this one here. Alright, I decided to go this route, come up short and then come over and then come up because it kept hitting the tank every time I wanted to screw this on. So now, now we got plenty of room. Now with this valve here, normally it'd be on, but when this goes out again, all I have to do is turn this off, unscrew it, put the new one on, and then turn this back on without having to empty out the whole system. Okay, so we need a little bit of Teflon tape on there. Close it for now. All right. Now on these, you screw these in by hand until they snug up. And then underneath, just tighten it with the uh, three-quarter inch. And that should be good. All right, now we're going to uh, put the wiring system, the wiring back on. Okay, I got all the wires hooked up. Uh, the grounds, got the power wires on. Yeah, let's see. Okay, this cover should go on. Now the next thing we have to do is pressurize the tank, or at least make sure the pressure is right in there. All right, now what you're going to want to do is get yourself an air compressor. And at the top here, top of your tank, you should have something that looks like a, uh, a valve on a bike or a car tire. Okay? And then make sure you got a gauge and see what kind of pressure you got. We're supposed to have 38 pounds on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 38 pounds. If you have a 40 to 60 switch, uh, pressure switch, uh, it should be two pounds under your low limit. So the kick on, it would be 40. So uh, your pressure tank here should be at 38. If you have a 30 to 50, you'd want it at 28. All right, I'm about 38. And that's good. And put your cap back on. Tank is empty. All right, now we're going to go uh, double check everything here and then go turn the pump on. We're going to double check here the wiring. We got the two pump hots that are in the middle. We, got the, we have the two pump wires in the middle and the two hot wires, one here and one here on the outer one, and they're grounded. And that's good. There.
All right, now we're going to turn that little valve I put on. Now, let's get this out of the way. I'm going to turn that on. And we're going to go turn the power on now. Okay. I forgot to turn my hose off. Now you can see here we're climbing back up. We're over 40 now. And this should kick off at 60. Okay, just clicked off. So that works. I gotta open the main to the house. All right, the next thing, the best to do is run a few uh, faucets in the house and whatever, and bring the pressure down and make sure when it, when it gets below 40, it kicks back on again. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something about your uh, pressure switch and repressurizing your uh, pressure tank. Uh, remember, if your tank, if your pressure switch is 40 to 60, set your tank for 38. If your, if your pressure switch is 30 to 50, set it at 28. All right, so uh, that's about it. Um, this is working good, there's no leaks, and uh, I'm good to go. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and, I, and I'd greatly appreciate it, thanks.